Bedtime Stories for Giants. If you like these stories and want to follow along on the Giants' adventures, please hit the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to like this video. I hope you enjoy the story. Tell me a giant story. Before we begin our story today, I want to make sure everyone is comfortable. You have your pillow and your blanket, and maybe your favorite stuffed animal. Tonight, I want you to lay as still as you can. I want you to lightly close your eyes. Now I want you to imagine you are looking at your toes. And while you are looking at your toes, a beautiful butterfly flies down and lands on it. Instantly, your toes and your feet feel so heavy. Now a butterfly comes and lands on your knee. And instantly, your knees and your legs feel so heavy and hardly move them. I want you to imagine another butterfly flying slowly down from the sky and landing on your fingers, instantly making your fingers and hands feel as heavy as a boat anchor. Another butterfly comes and lands right in the center of your belly causing your stomach and your chest to feel heavy or hard to move. And lastly, a beautiful butterfly floats down from the sky and softly lands on your nose. It doesn't tickle you, but it does make your nose and your face and your head feel much heavier now. Feeling much more relaxed, I know you're ready to hear my story. One of Apple Peach Banana's favorite things to do in the summer was to watch the monarch butterflies fly around from leaf to leaf of the milkweed plant. Two summers ago, Apple Peach Banana had been following one of the monarch butterflies she had found, and it led her right to Milkweed Valley. Milkweed Valley was between two mountains on the mountain range Apple Peach Banana and her family lived on. And now that she had found Milkweed Valley, she liked to visit multiple times every summer to check on the monarch caterpillars and the monarch butterflies. Apple Peach Banana had been spending time outside with her big sister Luna when she spotted a monarch butterfly. Let's go to the Milky Valley and visit the butterflies. Luna was on board with this idea. Let's go now. They dropped everything they were working on and headed straight to Milkweed Valley they went down their mountain. They went up the next mountain, and down that mountain too, until they arrived. Milkweed Valley had a calming effect, and as soon as you entered it, you suddenly felt relaxed. It must be all the butterflies peacefully flying around. Apple Peach Banana had been keeping her eye on one particular chrysalis. Apple Peach Banana had been watching a baby caterpillar grow from a tiny, itty bitty caterpillar to a nice, big, plump caterpillar. Then one day when she visited, the caterpillar had put itself in a cocoon. It had been cocooned for eight days now, and Apple Peach Banana knew it was going to come out any day. She carefully made her way through the milkweed so she wouldn't disturb any eggs or baby caterpillars and found the milkweed that had the chrysalis on it that she was keeping her eye on. 
When she got to the correct milkweed, she saw that the green chrysalis had turned brown. That's how she knew that the butterfly was going to be emerging out any time now. Apple Peach Banana's older sister Luna had been exploring Milkweed Valley, and she noticed there was definitely something strange going on. All the butterflies she had seen so far in Milkweed Valley were white and black, which wasn't right because monarch butterflies had oranges and yellows on them. Luna called over to her sister, Apple Peach Banana, why are all the butterflies white? Apple Peach Banana answered, You're right! I noticed that too! There's only white monarchs! That's not right! Monarch butterflies are not white! There is something strange going on here. Later in the afternoon, Apple Peach Banana made her way back over to the milkweed with a special chrysalis on it. She saw that her monarch butterfly had come out of its chrysalis. Its wings were still wet and curled up. It was hanging upside down to dry out. But she could already tell that this butterfly too was white. Luna, this is not right. My monarch caterpillar was perfect. It looked normal. But now its wings are white. This is not right. This is not right. Apple Peach Banana was very worried. She had a huge heart for everything living, especially monarch butterflies. She took such care with walking through the milkweed. She didn't want to knock any eggs off of the milkweed leaves. Luna, we have to do something. Monarch butterflies are in danger. We have to save the species. Luna's face got incredibly serious. You're right, but what can we do? Apple Peach Banana tapped her finger on her chin and thought and thought. Then she got an idea. We have to paint the monarchs, Luna said. I don't think it's a good idea to paint paint monarch butterflies with paint. Apple Peach Banana said, No, no, I didn't mean paint it with paint. I meant paint it with pollen. We have to collect yellow and orange pollen from flowers and then paint it on their wings. Luna thought about it. It was a good idea, but it wasn't practical. She told her sister, Apple Peach Banana, there's no time for us to catch all these butterflies and paint them individually. How can we get it all done? Apple Peach Banana was not concerned with the details. She was already on her way to the wildflower fields to collect the pollen she needed. Luna had to scramble to catch up. The thing about being a giant is that you have really good hearing because of the size of your ears. Whenever wildflowers are picked by giants, the wildflowers can be heard. Apple Peach Banana searched around to find the flower that had orange pollen. Finally, she found where the sneezeweed was. The sneezeweed flower was bright orange, and she began to pick as many flowers as she could wouldn't totally disturb the patch. And as she picked the flowers, she could hear them singing to her. Soon after, Luna found her own patch of sneezeweed flowers and began picking, enjoying beautiful music it was making. Next, they were in search of flowers with yellow pollen. This didn't take them long as most of the flowers had yellow pollen. 
once they found a few varieties with different shades between yellow and orange, they started picking. The flowers they were picking this time made a totally different sound. Oh, I just love wildflowers, Apple Peach Banana said. When the two giants were done picking those wildflowers, they headed back to Milkweed Valley to figure out how to get the pollen on the butterfly's delicate wings. When they arrived back in Milkweed Valley, Luna looked around. The problem is worse. There's more and more white monarch butterflies. This is terrible. How can we ever get this pollen to be painted on all those wings? This was really stressing her out. Apple Peach Banana held up one of the flowers and examined it. As she was rolling one of the sneezeweed flowers in between her pointer finger and her thumb, she saw that the pollen easily fell off. She looked at it and then looked up at the white monarch butterflies, and back down at the sneezeweed flower, and then back up at the monarch butterflies that needed to be painted. And looked over at Luna and said, I almost sprinkle the pollen on that like this. Apple Peach Banana held one of the sneezeweed flowers up, along with a dandelion flower up, and began twirling it upside down. As she twirled it, the pollen from the flowers started drifting down peacefully to the ground. As if the pollen had a magnet, it started drawing the white monarch butterflies to it. Luna joined Apple Peach Banana and began to slowly roll the stems around in her fingers, dropping the pollen peacefully to the ground, which attracted more white butterflies. The white butterflies would fly underneath the pollen from one end and come out the other, brightly colored, orange and yellow. It's working, Luna said, surprised. Apple Peach Banana smiled and said, I know, I know. Once one flower would run out of pollen, they would grab another from the pile and roll that one between their fingers to shake more of the pollen down. Pretty soon, it seemed like all the monarch butterflies in Milkweed Valley had turned from white back to orange and yellow and black. The monarch butterflies all flew up in the air and formed a heart. Look, Luna said, they made a heart for us. Apple Peach Banana smiled and said, I would have done it anyway. I love monarch butterflies. Luna said, It looks like they love us too. Apple Peach Banana said, We saved Milkweed Valley. Luna said, That's right. No more trouble here in Milkweed Valley. We'll have to check next week to make sure that it's all going well. But for today, all the monarch butterflies look like normal again. With that, the two girls headed home and ate a big supper from all the hero work they had done that day.